Hey YouTubers, uh, I guess it's been a while. So, lots happened. Finished college, moved out, and now I have room for a collection of crap again. But, I decided to expand the empire of crap. Because, I felt like I was being a little one-sided before. Had a lot of Windows stuff. So I thought I'd get a Mac or two. And so, yeah, I got an eMac. I dig it. I dig it. But it's not the only Mac. You see, the collection expanded a little more. So I've got some more fun stuff to make videos on. But uh, today we're going to start with the eMac. Let me get back over there. I have it set up in the kitchen because I just unpacked it. Put you all back on the tripod. Alright. There we go. Look at that, it's not even too screwed up. Alright. So I figure what better way to inaugurate the eMac than trying to play one of the only actually demanding games I know of for PowerPC Mac. That's right. Halo. So let's go. Uh, I'm gonna go grab that file because I got Halo from a friend. Uh, he gave me a DMG file for it and gave me his key too. So we'll get that all installed and we'll see how she plays. Just unpacked this like five minutes ago. I'm happy when it booted up. All right. Be right back. Alright, so I suppose part of the fun of me working with Max is usually I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. Because the last time I worked with them regularly, I was in middle school. So, <laughs> I might have forgotten some stuff. We'll see how good we can get this to line up here. I'm sorry for the scan lines on the screen, guys. There's only so much I can do about it. Uh, I'm working on getting my DSLR set up, but uh, right now one of my lenses is out being repaired. Uh, it does not focus, and if I manual focus it, it'll hold it, but it starts to slip because whatever the little ring inside that locks the uh, focus when you switch it over doesn't seem to work anymore. So. Pretty soon I'll be able to use the DSLR and then I can set frame rates so that we don't get scan lines, but this is as close as I can get right now with the old uh, Sony. Alright, so, like I was saying, part of the fun is uh, I usually don't know what I'm doing with Macs. I, I managed a really small network of them once. So, we'll see how good rusty memory is. Installing a video game can't be that hard, right? They market them to kids. I feel like I can get that far. Plug that in. Hope my flash drive actually shows up here. This is not looking promising. Oh, wait, there we go. Yes, okay, so we need, I think, this. And there was another file, there it is. Somebody told me I need that patch, so I guess we'll see what happens. Apparently, when Halo for Mac was still being sold through a couple of Mac sites, the Intel Macs brought about some chaos because completely different architecture and this game was still wildly popular. So they actually fixed it so that it ran on Intel Macs. The good news is this is just a PowerPC G4, nothing too special. So I don't think we'll have any issue with that, but still, this was the only way I could get a hold of it, because trying to get a CD for this is almost impossible. They actually took the CDs back in return. If you decided that you wanted to uh, upgrade to the Intel and PowerPC version, and then they sent you a new CD, and I guess people don't sell those, because they're hard to come by. So let's open, uh, well first let's eject my drive. I don't need that now. I'll take that. And let's see here. I'll open the binary. Oh, 
Also, I have no idea what you need to run this game. Like, I was gonna put OS 10 for 11, I think? Yeah, Tiger. Uh, that's the last version I'm familiar with. I think you can go all the way up to Leopard with these. That said, I feel like Leopard would be incredibly slow. And I don't really want to sink a lot of money trying to get this to, like, the utmost high spec. This is as close as I get. I was trying to get my hands on a 1.4 uh, gigahertz version, but I could only get a 1.25. Still, it looks like it meets the minimum requirements for Halo. And it looks like Halo's ready to open here, or the installer is, at least. Let's see, I'm gonna get the camera a little closer here. I'm trying the best I can, because I don't wanna... I don't wanna make it hard for anybody to see. So hopefully, hopefully this will be clear. I am working on this for the future. There we go. Yeah, it looks acceptable. Hopefully it's legible. I'll try to fix some of the scanning, maybe smooth it over and post. Alright, let's see. Let's open up this installer. Oh, this is looking good so far. Okay. Generic stuff. Sure. I agree blindly. Uh, oh, that's right. I didn't even see how big this hard drive is. I have literally done nothing on this thing. Let's see how big the hard drive is. 512 megs of DDR RAM. Oh, I think I have spare RAM. I might be able to get this thing up to a gig. Um, one and a quarter gigahertz. What do we got? Mm, not too much all that impressive here. Where's the hard drive? Oh, ATA. I bet you it's under there. 75 gigs. Eh, so it was probably sold as an 80 gig drive. I think you, on these drive doors it even says how big it is. Yep, 80 gig. I feel ripped off. Where's my extra 5 gigs? You promised me extra. And this has the super drive, so we can even like burn DVDs. I know, it's cool. I definitely don't have the date set. I'm gonna set the date really quickly. I bet you this needs a PRAM battery. Both those iMacs that I showed you guys earlier came to me with dead PRAM batteries. Boy, that was a bummer, trying to figure out why my Mac wouldn't boot. Seriously, it's the weirdest thing. The PRAM battery controls so much on those old ones. Um, all right. So it looks like today's date is 11. 27, oops, 27, uh, 2017, cool. <laughs> One of the other Macs I have wouldn't even set to the current date because it's just too far ahead. Um, 7, 46 p.m. I suppose it doesn't really matter whether or not it's Arizona time, but it's air, oops. Probably gonna come up as Phoenix. Yeah, it does. Cool. Alright. Back to installing Halo. Do it. Do it. Alright, well, I will come back after this is done. Alright, we got to the exciting part where the software is successfully installed. You got to skip all the boring parts where the installer got really slow. Okay, I was lying. It was only like two minutes, but still, it was a long two minutes. I had to watch South Park for two whole minutes. Alright, so now that that's done, I suppose we don't need this taking up RAM. I really don't need the system profiler open either. Let's try to get Halo to open. Hey, look at that. Hmm. 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 I think we might need this patch. Let's see what's in this. Oh, it unpacked. Halo updater. Okay.
Mm. I think we might have made the computer angry. Not sure how yet, but I'm gonna restart. We'll see what we get. Let's hope it restarts quickly. I just noticed it doesn't have a startup chime. Hmm. The volume must be down. Ah. Yes. Also, I apologize for the autofocus on the Sony cam. It's, um, sketchy sometimes. It doesn't always work all that well. I will, uh, we'll be going to the manual focus DSLR real soon here. Hopefully in the meantime this thing can work well enough so I can make a couple of videos here and there. Alright, we're back. Oh yeah, it looks like the volume was just down. I'll wait till this is finished booting up and then I'll turn it up a notch. This thing is basically untested for me. Come on, make a noise. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's a fun noise. Alright, let's try this patch again. Hmm. Instantly opens, then closes. Let's see if Halo's doing the same thing. Yeah, instantly opens and closes. Alright, I guess we'll have to investigate a little bit. Give me a minute, guys. Alright, as of now, I'm not too sure why it's not working, but I can get the universal binary and its package to open, and I can find the Halo app file. I think we have the right version of Mac. I mean, it's just 10.3. Shouldn't have any issue there. says it's version 2.0 hmm. let's see if it opens with this mounted I'm not even getting an error. And the weird part is the updater, which should just be a normal Mac installer, won't open. Let's look at the info on that. And this is from 09. Still, shouldn't have any issue here. Hmm. It's just a URL. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It installed fine. I wonder why we can't get it to run. Copious amounts of clicking probably won't solve the issue. Alright. More research to be done. Well, I pulled out the boredom docs, and I started reading. It says, Halo requires a PowerPC or Intel-based Macintosh with the following minimum specifications. 800 megahertz or faster PowerPC G4 or G5. Well, the good news is, we have a 1 gigahertz or faster, and it is a G4, so we're good there. But then it says Mac OS 10.3.9 or later, and it recommends 10.4. Now, I recommend 10.4 too, because I think that was, like, perfect for Mac OS on PowerPC. But I don't have a disk for it, and I'm not sure where I could get one on such short notice. Oh, scan lines have gotten nuts. Ha! Oh, they're still nuts. Must have to do with the white balance. Anyway, I noticed something. 
Instead, we really need 1039. So, if I look at the About This Mac section, I read it very close. My reading comprehension's a little low, but I think it says version 1034. So, we need to go about getting 1039 on here. So we're going to take a little bit of a break while I go literally pick this machine up and move it closer to the router because it uses Wi-Fi that isn't WPA2 compatible, so I can't use the Wi-Fi. I'll be right back. So after physically picking up and moving the computer, I found out the Mac OS update servers don't work directly inside the OS anymore, so had to go find the 1039 combined update and then download it, then put it on a flash drive, then put it here and unpack it, and now it's installing, and I guess we'll see if this works. I hope it's not just a waste of time. Also, I'm really hungry. I'm going to go get Jack in the Box. Alright, we fast forwarded a little bit. It's uh, now like two days later, but I got caught up with work stuff. So, uh, got 10.3.9 installed, and we got, uh, well, we got a little bit farther. Right now, the game launches, but it's got some errors. Now, I've tried every combination that I can here of these graphics settings, but they don't seem to be yielding too much for me. So here, we'll have it off, low, model detail high. This thing is well within the system specs to play the game, so I should be able to set everything up pretty high except for maybe like hardware shaders, but it doesn't even have the pixel or advanced. So let me show you what the errors are. Because this it got pretty derpy by the time I made it to the captain on the Pillar of Autumn. Wait for that to load. Oh yeah, look at that. It loads plenty quick. Don't care. Still don't care. Busy not caring. Whoa, look at that, I don't care. Alright, so the menu looks pretty normal. When I first opened this up and I had hardware shaders on, the whole ring here was just, yeah, it wasn't happening. It was just, uh, solid black. So we'll go into the campaign, because multiplayer, well here, I'll show you multiplayer first. So like watch, if I started a, let's just say I started a land game on, why not Blood Gulch? Where's Blood Gulch? Everyone knows what that looks like. There it is. Okay, so, just a random Slayer game. Watch how screwed up this Slayer. is. Okay, so it may look like the camera is super washed out right now, and in front of me is white. Um, that's not the camera being washed out, that's just the ground. It's For some reason, everything in the foreground is white, and items out in the far way are normal, I guess? Something's not right here. Look at that. As it loads chunks and they get closer, things get more white. But, look at that, in the distance, because now I'm up on a hill and the floor isn't immediately in front of me, everything looks normal, but if I look down, it's white. Now, so far nothing I've done has corrected this, but some things I've done have made it worse and made more things white. Uh, okay, so let's get out of here, and let's go load the campaign. That's a little different. For some reason, the campaign gets even derpier. See where it has me load from. Might have to actually play this a little bit. <laughs> oh no, perfect. Oh, we missed the derpy glitch. Okay, so first of all, the entire bridge is black. There's no textures here. There's outside textures, there's people textures, but the bridge itself is done. Even the rotating light up here is just a rotating deal. No light emitters. I can't see crap, I'm kind of going off memory here. Okay, this is where we run into a grunt. Die, ah, ball mouse, why do you keep sticking? Okay. 
Anyway, you notice our textures come back. So I'm not sure what's up with that. But, okay. I wish I could rewind it. Oh, actually. Well, if I replayed the whole level and we ended up back on the bridge again, when it does the cutscene with Cortana and Keys saying, we'll never make it, da 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 da, Master Chief, you take Cortana, go kill things and play the whole rest of the game. Anyway, that scene was really hilarious because all the emitters that make up Cortana's figure were just screwed. She, she looked like she had just got off like a seven week bender. Her face was all messed up. No, nothing moved really and the voice was there. It just, it was, it was all wrong, man. So, we need to figure out what's up here. I have yet to find a fix, though. I'm wondering if it's not just an issue with it being Mac 1039 rather than 104, which is what it recommends, even though 1039 is supported. Anyway, that's a problem for another day. I guess I'll upload this for now, and I don't know, I'm not doing really a video schedule yet, because, I mean, not that many people watch me, so... <laughs> I'm just going to do videos sort of when I have free time for it, I guess. And if people take a liking to my videos again, I might do a more frequent video deal. But, uh, yeah. That's the new collection. That's the new Mac. Uh, I'll be having some other stuff to put on here. Actually, I'm about to install iLife because I have a whole thing I want to do with that. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody.